Hi there, my name's Jean Mingus and I am the Chair of Judges for the 2022 Wimbledon Book Fest's Young Writers Competition. And I am here today to tell you a little bit more about our chosen theme for this year's contest and to give you a little bit of advice from one writer to another about writing your story or poem. I myself am the author of children's books including Greek myths, meet the gods, goddesses, heroes and monsters of ancient Greece and I am so excited to read your submissions. Something that I feel is so integral to any story, poem or piece of writing is passion. That is what is most important when it comes to putting your words down on the page. So choose something that you are passionate about. This could be something personal, this could be something based on the real world or it could be something entirely fantastical and escapist. Whatever just gets you excited about writing and that excitement will shine through. This piece can be whatever you want it to be. We're not looking for one specific genre or style but we are looking to see you give your all to this piece and we are so excited as the judges to read everything you have to offer and to see your interpretations of this year's theme which is of course the tree. Now the reason I love this theme in particular is the fact that despite this theme being built entirely on one word which is tree. It has so many opportunities for exploration and interpretation because tree can mean so much. A tree can be both something physical, the tree in your back garden, the entire forest of trees that make up the Amazon, or it can be something more symbolic like a family tree, a tree that ties and binds individuals together. So once you start digging you'll discover that trees and the tree has been a popular motif in stories, in poetry and literature for thousands and thousands of years. There are ancient Greek myths where characters turn into trees like Daphne or where kings with a little bit too much ego cut down sacred trees and bring a curse down upon them which to a modern reader could read like a comment on deforestation and climate change. There is so much opportunity opportunity to find trees in literature both old and new and to do different things with them. In more recent stories like A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, the tree is the monster but it's also the way in which our main character is able to explore his grief and sadness. And in The Family Tree by Cyrus Hussein, the book is literally about a family tree. It has nothing to do with a tree that you might find in the park around the corner because trees have already become more than the physical object in our everyday speech. And myself and all of the other judges for this year's prize cannot wait to read your submissions and see what you do with the tree.